Bible called non-denominational. You have no church in the Bible called Jehovah Witnesses. That's right. You have no church in the Bible called the Mormons. Yeah. Where did all this stuff come from? Yeah. You don't have no church in the Bible called Protestant, mm -hmm. Christian scientists, <laughs> Lutheran, Rastafarian. Hmm. Jesus wasn't a Rasta. <laughs> no. Jesus was the Messiah. That's right. We had a good meeting last night when the brothers dropped me off at my hotel. Before I walked in the building, there was a woman on the outside drunk. <laughs> I mean, she was drunk. But when I was going to go in the hotel, she turned around and looked at me. She said, wait a minute, man. <laughs> she said, I know you. <laughs> You're that man on YouTube. <laughs> she said, you're, you're, you're Pastor Jennings. She told the doorman, hold my liquor. <laughs> she, she was drunk. She said, I can't talk to him with liquor in my hand. She said, hold my liquor. Wow. Hmm? Mm. I don't care how drunk she was. <laughs> Lord, I sober you up. Yeah. We invite her to come to the service while we're here. Well, the whole world is drunk of sin. That's right. Now, in the days of Noah, God instructed Noah to build an ark for the saving of the house. Now, Noah represent the message, the preacher. The ark represent the church that God designed to rescue humanity from sin. The judgment of the flood represent the judgment that's going to come, but it won't be water, it'll be fire. That's right. Now understand this. Whenever you got in mind to get right, God will make a way for you to get right. Amen. But if you want to get right, you got to do it on God's terms. That's right. Listen now, God's terms. That's right. It's like working for a company. When you get hired at a company, you don't get hired to bring your own rules. Your own regulation. You don't tell the owner of the company, well, you know what? I don't like the way you run your company, so this is the way we're going to do it. Fire. Amen. <laughs> You're going to throw you out of there. Amen. If Jesus started the church, he set the rules in the church. Amen. He set the regulations in the church. Amen. And if anything going in the church that contradict the rules and regulations of God, then that thing must be put to death or put to stop. Why? Because it got to be according to the word of God. That's right. Now follow me, you that's here in the Bahama Islands and you that are watching around the world. Follow me now in the Bible. Listen in the, at this. In the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 5, and we're starting at verse 1. All right. Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of God. Listen at this. Amen. Keep your foot. When thou goest to the house of God. When you come to God's house, keep your foot mean. Pay attention. That's right. The human family, I want you to understand the most important part of church is not the choir. It is not testimony service. And it is not money. Amen. The important part of church is the message. That's right. Now, if the message is wrong, church is wrong. That's right. Did you hear what I said? If the message is wrong, then the whole church is wrong. That's right. Because the message got to come from the word of God, not from a Bible college. That's right. Not from a seminary school. Mm -hmm. I know I, I, a lot of preachers, you know, people brag, you know, they got a preacher who got a PhD, a DD, and an LLD. And a lot of time he advertises the initials on the church sign, you know, Dr. Lucifer, Ph.D., L.L.D., and all that stuff. I don't care nothing about your degrees. That's right. Philosophy is not preaching. That's right. You better let's certify this with the Bible. The I want everybody to get this because, because you got a preacher that went to college, that don't mean he's a preacher. No, no, no. Let's understand something. Preaching is a divine act of God. That's right. College don't make preachers. Amen. School makes students. They got to make a preacher. That's right. Listen at this now. In the book of Colossians chapter 2 and we're at verse 8. Follow me in your Bible, PhD and doctor of divinity. Colossians Follow chapter me now. 
Colossians chapter 2. And at verse 8. Get this. Beware. Look out. Beware lest any man. Hurry, take God. You know, there's some folk got a sign on their door. Beware of dog. Right. And I certainly ain't going to peep in your door to see the sign for real. That's right. I'm not that foolish. Mm -hmm. When I see the sign right away, I'm going to believe it and keep stepping. Amen. Now, the God of heaven says, beware. Beware lest any man spoil you. Lest any man spoil you. You know, when a thing is spoiled, it's ruined. That's right. Don't you see some parents spoil their children? Mm -hmm. Children don't want no discipline. Children don't want to be put in order. And then when someone do discipline that child, the child don't know how to take it. Yeah. Well, you got churches where the members are spoiled. spoiled. Amen. They're able to do anything they want to do. No Bible that put things in order. That's right. Everything is just all out of place and out of line. Pulpit all out of order because many church organizations is more interested in constructing themselves from a philosophical perspective right. but not from a biblical perspective. That's right. I don't care nothing about no seminary setup. Yeah. The only thing I'm interested in is that the church by the Lord Jesus Christ that started on the day of Pentecost. That's right. Eh? Beware. Beware. Lest any man spoil you. Lest any man any spoil man. you. Through philosophy, spoil, spoil, you. spoil you. You know, I'm not trying to spoil you. No. No, no, no. You know, I don't have no candy to give you. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. Anybody want sweets? Wrong preacher. Oh, yeah. Amen. I, I, I don't have no candy. That's why a lot of folk mm. don't hate, they hate Pastor yeah. Jennings. Because I don't give them no lucky charms and no sugar pops and no cuckoo for cocoa pops. And, <laughs> eh? I don't give them no M&Ms and Maki Nikes and blow pops. I come give you a barrel full of salt. That's right. Because Jesus said salt is good. That's right. Eh? That's right. Now, when you're spoiled, you can't take sound gospel. Mm -hmm. Can't take it. Mm -hmm. You know, folks love to go to churches where they got a preacher that put his hands over his ears and grunt and holler with an organ playing behind them. And the preacher tell you, look to your left and say, neighbor, this is your hour. Look to your right and say, neighbor, this is your hour. Hold the neighbor's hand and say, this is your time. No, leave your neighbor alone. That's right. And look at your own wicked soul. That's right. And I want to tell all my neighbors in here, you better get ready to obey this neighborly gospel right. that'll keep your soul out of hell. Amen. What did he say? Beware. Glory to God. Beware. Beware means look out. Lest any man spoil you. Lest any man spoil you. Spoil you. Spoil. Through what? Through philosophy. What? Through philosophy. Look at the philosophy that's being preached in churches now. Mm. Philosophy is not Bible. No. I want all of you to understand this. Most of the stuff that's preached in church never been in the Bible, never came out the Bible. It came out of seminary school and colleges. That's right. Have you ever heard the stuff preached in churches? There are five minor prophets and five major. Mm. Had never been in the Bible. No. Have you ever heard it preached in the churches? Peter was crucified head down and feet up. No such crucifixion is in the Bible. Right. Have you ever heard in the churches that Paul died at Nero's chopping block? The Bible ain't never said how Paul died or where. Amen. Shocking, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Have you ever heard there's five minor prophets and five major? The Bible ain't never called the prophets major or minor. No. That's where you learn philosophy. philosophy. That's philosophy. That's right. Have you ever heard that when the last prophet Malachi died, there was 400 years of darkness? The Bible ain't never said how many years it was. That's right. The Bible just said darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people. That's why I tell the world, come on back to Bible. That's right. Eh? That's right. Come on back to Bible. Amen. Let's come back to Bible. That's, That's right. why these preachers tell their members, don't listen to that, Pastor Jennings, because the preachers want you ignorant. Yeah. Don't you know if you ignorant to the Bible, that empowers a liar. Oh, he yeah. can lie to you. Oh, yeah. He can trick you. He can seduce you. Yeah. He can con you. Yeah. And yeah. then that take away from you the right to question that Paul Pitt pimp about the lies that he been telling you for years. That's right. What is that? Beware. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah.
Beware. Lest any man spoil Bahamas. you. Nassau. Beware. Nassau. Beware. Nassau. Beware. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Beware. Lest any man spoil you. Beware. Beware. You go to these churches. Stop going to these churches. Yeah. Don't give another tithe. Don't give another offering. Mm -hmm. Don't even give a testimony. That's right. Take your hymn book. Pack up and leave. That's it. Get out of there. That's right. Let the preacher get a job and go to work. That's right. Don't, don't, don't let him live off you. Yeah. Let that hypocrite get a job. The reason why he tell you what you want to hear, you pay his gas. Yeah. You pay his electric. Oh, you yeah. buy him cars. Yeah. You buy him houses. Oh, yeah. You buy him suits. Yeah. Let him get a job and go to work like everybody else. That's right. Or let that hypocrite die and go to hell with everybody else. Beware. Look out. Beware lest any man spoil you. Glory to God. Lest any man spoil you. I can't wait to drop a telecast here. Mm. I hope it caused an earthquake <laughs> and a tsunami come and just wash every false church and drag it back out in the Caribbean. That's right. Huh? Mm. Thank God. God, I hope this message shake all 700 islands. <laughs> I don't care if I got to hop a jet five times in one day. Go ahead, brother. To go from island to island to island. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Take God, if that's what it takes. Amen. They get the soul of man. The reason why we travel around the world. Amen. Think of it now. Amen. We travel around the world and don't get paid. That's right. I'm not on no church salary. That's right. I don't get paid a dime. Amen. I'm a working man. Oh, yeah. I come preach the word of God to you free of charge. Free. And some hypocrites still don't want it. That's right. But my God, you're going to get it. Oh, yeah. Eh? Beware. Beware. Lest any man spoil you. Lest any man spoil you. Through philosophy. Spoil you. Spoil. There's nothing wrong with having more than one wife. Spoil. Philosophizing to you. Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with living together, not married. That spoil you. Oh, yeah. Nothing wrong with shacking up. That spoil you. Oh, yeah. Nothing wrong with lipstick and half naked. That spoil you. Oh, yeah. Nothing wrong with two women marrying each other. That spoil you. That's right. You see, when you spoil, you're, you're scared to stand up That's right. for God everlasting word. Right. And when you stand up for the word, you may end up standing up against the government of your country. Amen. I'm no stranger oh, yeah. to the government of America. I am no stranger to the government of America at all. That's right. I cry out against the government all the time. Oh. I don't care what president is in the doghouse that they call the White House. I buck out okay. against Parliament of England and buck out against Congress, thank God, of Europe. And I buck out against the government mm. everywhere in the world. That's right. Do not exempt it. That's don't right. you know God have one law? Yeah. God have one standard? Mm. Don't you hear the Apostle Paul brought his testimony oh, yeah. to King Agrippa? Oh, yeah. That thing troubled King Agrippa so bad, he said, you are more persuaded me. Thank God to become a Christian. That's Do right. you see what I'm telling you? Beware. Beware. Lest Hallelujah. any man oh, spoil you. Lest any man spoil you. Thank God spoil you. Through philosophy. You folks are spoiled in the church. Spoil. Oh, yes, you are. Look at your choir. Half naked women with passion marks all on mm. their breasts, and they ain't married. That's right. Spoiled. Uh -huh. Spoiled. Spoiled. Got ankle chains looking like prostitutes. Mm -hmm. Spoiled. Spoiled. Uh -huh. mm. Amen. Beware. Amen. Men all up on the choir, lips shine more than a man's tire with armor on. That's right. Uh -huh. Spoiled. Spoiled. Amen. Why? They ain't taught nothing. I don't blame the people. Because the people don't know no better. Yeah. I believe the people would do better if they had someone to tell them. Thank God, and I'm determined to tell you. Wonderful. The Bible said, it shall be told thee oh, yes. what thou must do. Mm -hmm. All right, what he said. Beware lest any man spoil you lest through philosophy. Lest any man spoil you through philosophy. And vain deceit. I had some folks say, Pastor Jennings, don't preach so hard. <laughs> don't preach too hard. They, never, they tell me, ease up, Pastor Jennings. But have you noticed they never tell the devil to ease up? No. Huh? They never tell the devil to ease up. No, no. Our men out here walking the street with your pants hanging down. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they're doing it here in the Bahamas, dude. Mm -hmm. Hey, man, pants hanging down like you are uncivilized human being. Go ahead. What is it so civilized advertising your underwear, my bohemian brothers? Amen. You women that's walking around here in the Bahamas showing your breasts and your backside and half naked, a split from Go your ankle all the way up to your thigh. Well, Pastor Jennings, my preacher don't say nothing. Mm. I know. <laughs> 
I know. Oh, yes. <laughs> and I guarantee that fella ain't going to say nothing either. Oh, no. Once he's done checking you out from east to west, from north to south, yeah. he don't want you to cover up them goods. No. Thank God we're here. A real man of God will tell you what cover. the Bible says. Right. Cover, up cover up the shame of thy nakedness. That's right. What the Holy Ghost said? Beware. Look out. Lest any man spoil you. Lest any man spoil you. Through philosophy. Through philosophy. And vain deceit. Vain deceit. After the tradition. Tradition of men. What is it? After the tradition of men. Now, this is what have taken over church. Mm -hmm. Tradition. Tradition. There's men's tradition, mm -hmm. and then there's God's tradition. That's right. The only tradition that should run the church is heaven tradition. That's right. If listen, it ain't no need to have no church and just read the Bible and you don't believe what's in there. Amen. Not only must you believe what's in there. You got to practice what's in there. That's right. And these churches now got the club beat. Mm. Huh? Oh, yeah. They got churches now where they got all these praise dancers, yeah. folks all around in the stage just get dressed up in ballet, ballerina mm. clothes and all that stuff. Yeah. And, hey, man, down there popping their fingers all in the church. Someone coming along with a microphone sure. and say, come on, come on. Here we go. Come on, stand. And the church just be rocking. Oh, yes. That's why some of y'all folk love to go to the church because you know it ain't no church. <laughs> in your heart, you know you in the club that got a cross. That's right. Huh? That's right. You know it's nothing but a club with right. a cross. That's it. That's My right. God, listen, listen, here, here the old man now. When you say church, that's supposed to represent God. Yeah. When you say club, that's supposed to represent the devil. That's right. Give me Leviticus, In Leviticus 10. 10. Chapter 10 and the verse Bible 10. says, put a difference, put a difference. between holy mm -hmm. and unholy. Mm -hmm. You should not come in what is called church and you see more devil than God. That's right. Am I right, I said? In Leviticus chapter 10 and verse 10. Follow me in your Bible. And that ye may put difference. Give chapter and verse again. In Leviticus chapter 10 and at verse 10. That's what? And that ye may put difference. That you put a difference. Between holy. Between holy. And unholy. And unholy. And between unclean. Unclean. And clean. You should never ride by a church and a member difference. standing out there. Just smoking and talking all casual. No. Hey, what's happening, brother? No, no. Hey, you got a light? These are church people. That's right. Huh? That's church right. folk. Church folk. Uh, church folk out there. Women are like they're coming from a club more than they like they're coming from church. That's right. They more negative in church than they are in the street. Amen. Men come out out of church. How you doing, Billy? Hi, Frank. Yeah. Church folk. Church folk. Am I right, I said? That's right. And that ye may put difference. I know some of you don't like it because some of you, your brother is gay. Yeah. Some of you, your father is gay. Yeah. Some of you, your sons is gay. Mm -hmm. But if you believe what the Bible says, it doesn't matter if it's your family. You are stand for God if you got to stand up against your family. That's right. Am I right, I say? And that ye may put difference. The Holy Ghost said. That ye may put difference. These churches got to clean up their act. That's right. The Lord mm -hmm. is coming. Amen. And the fear of God must, must come back in the church. That's right. Beginning, hallelujah, hallelujah. beginning at the pulpit. That's right. If the preachers don't fear God, listen, it's easy to tell if a preacher don't fear God. Yeah. He always gives you sugar. Yeah. He always want to pacify you. Yeah. He apologize when he hurts your feelings when he preach. He come back. Well, church, if I offend you, I'm sorry. If I offend you, I don't care. <laughs> Amen. Eh? Amen. You get that. If you get so mad until you blow bubbles in the air, yeah. and when the bubbles pop, cuss words come out. Oh, yeah. Thank God you might as well get ready to obey what the word of God says. And that ye may put different. You got you, you to gotta be different. Different. You got to be different. Oh, yes. How in the world you say you born again and you're still dancing, still partying, still swearing, still living with three or four women, three or five men, yeah. still got more men in your house in your bed than roaches on your floor. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Do you hear the Bible talking? In 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 17. I'm not preaching nothing new. Right. This is old-fashioned holiness. That's right. Not this modern imitation Christian stuff that pose like it's Christ. That's right. The Bible says what? Therefore, if any man be in Christ. Therefore. 
Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. If any man be if in Christ. any man. Be in Christ. No, if any man just go to church. If any man be in Christ. No, if any man sing on the choir. If any man be in Christ. Beat the drum. In Christ. In the pulpit. In Christ. Play the organ. In Christ. Usher. In Christ. It doesn't matter if you do all that stuff. That's right. I don't mean you in Christ. No, no. When you in Christ, you repent of your sins. Mm -hmm. Been down in water in the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. Have the baptism of the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. with the evidence of speaking in tongues That's it. as the spirit of the heavenly father give utterance. Mm -hmm. If any man be in God, he is a new creature. Mm -hmm. He is what? He is a new creature. How new is he, son? All things are passed away. All right, you that claim you're Christians. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. You that claim you Christian. Old things are passed away. Listen, if you are Christian mm -hmm. and you're supposed to be in Christ, mm -hmm. why you still got that old cigar in your mouth? That's right. Why you still smoking them old reefers? <laughs> mm -hmm. Amen. Why you still got them old cigarettes? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why you still got them old liquor bottles in the brown paper bag? Hanging out on the corner, passing it around to your friends. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. According to what the Bible says. All things are passed away. If any man. If any man be in Christ. It didn't say if any man go to church. If any man be in Christ. You can go to church and you're not in Christ. That's right. The Bible speaks plain. Therefore, if any man be in Christ. If any man be in Christ. He is a new creature. Hey, hey, listen. New. When you're a new creature, you got a new outlook on fornication. That's true. Your outlook is so new, you want to stop it. That's right. Huh? New creature. <laughs> Why? You're a new creature. New creature. If any man. It, therefore, if any man be in Christ. When, you, when you're in Christ, you got a new outlook on gambling. That's right. No more lottery tickets. No more bingo. Yeah. You go to church now, they got raffle tickets. That's true. In church. Amen. Lottery tickets. Amen. In church. Yeah. Glory to God, I see why Jesus come along. And turned over the tables. Right. Amen. And they tried to make the temple into a, a, a den of thieves. He turned the tables over. Mm -hmm. Do you hear what the word of God said? Therefore, if any man be in Christ. You that are watching and listening and you that are here. Are you in Christ? In Christ. Judge yourself by what's written here. That's it. See, are you in Christ? Mm -hmm. See, are you in him? In Christ. You're not in him unless you're in his word. And you can't be in his word without having someone teach you the word. That's right. Uh -huh. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. You judge yourself now. See, are you a new creature? New creature. What is it? Old things are passed away. Now, let me give you some knowledge. This little lightweight, laurel and hardy preacher. <laughs> That's right. This little Abbott and Costello preacher. Amen. This Three Stooges kind of preacher. Amen. Well, you got Christian comedy clubs. Have you noticed everything the devil got, the so-called Christians got now? Yeah. A Christian comedy club? Imagine, mm. you can go to a comedy club and hear jokes about Jesus. My Lord, my Lord. Someone crack jokes about the apostles. Mm. Crack jokes about hell and eternity. Amen. My Lord. As serious as this is, yeah. the Bible says what? Therefore, if any man be in Christ. Do you know in America, they got Christian clubs? Yeah. Everybody dance and bump and grind yeah. to Christian music. That's right. They even got Christian pool games, Lord Christian Jesus. poker games. Oh, yeah. They even got Christian prostitutes. Mm. Mm -hmm. They send Christian prostitutes to preachers. Mm. They say we're going to commit sin, but it's all right long as Christians do it. Cri and people wonder why I bark so loud. I'm like that dog next door that you want to shut up because you want to sleep. That's right. <laughs> I'm that dog next door in the yard mm -hmm. who you wish would be quiet because <laughs> you want to sleep. Right. Hey, I'm all around the world by God's permission, barking the word of God because the preachers, they want to sleep in their sin. Yeah. Thank God, but I want to wake you up. That's it. I want the church people, wake up. That's it. Wake up. Your soul is at stake. That's right. Wake up. That's right. Wake up. Leave the church. Yeah. Run. 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 Go ahead. Go ahead. Glory to take God to lead these churches. Hallelujah. Amen. The preachers tell you what you want to hear mm. because you made them rich. That's right. And you keep making them rich. That's why that liar, after he take your money, yeah. he come back and lie to you and say it right after the offering. Notice the Lord only talked to him when money around. <laughs> Amen. The moment that offering pan is passed around right then, he get in the spirit. Oh, the Lord just spoke to me. 
Then after that, he go in a fake tongue. He love about shot out Peter Piker, pick a pepper. That's right. And then right after that, the Lord told me to tell you there's $10,000 in the house. Yeah. And the Lord told me to tell you if you want a blessing 1,000 fold, all of you come along and get that blessing. I don't want a God that can't do nothing for me unless I got money. That's right. I, I don't That's need no God like that. No. If I don't have no money, the greatest offering I could give God is myself. Amen. Am I right, I said? Therefore. Therefore. If any man be in Christ. Oh, I said, God, I want to alarm creation. That's it. Eh? If I any man. I want to kick up a lot of noise about it. Go ahead. If any man be in Christ. He is a new creature. Well, this lets you know that most of these churches, they're not in Christ. No. I want you to judge it by the Bible. Amen. If you're in the in church. Christ. The world should not take over the church. No. Why the church trying to rap? That's right. That's church right. folk. That's right. You do that in the club. Amen. Why is church folk, someone up singing, a brother up, a man up singing, pants hanging down, underwear showing, yeah. no shirt on, mm. chains all around his neck, hat backward. Yeah. Telling everybody, come on, we're going to rejoice in Jesus. My Lord, my Lord. People now call anything church. That's right. The Bible said, if any man be in Christ. He is a new creature. What is it? Old things are passed away. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things. How much? All things. What is it? Are become new. It don't happen overnight, but it happened gradually. That's right. Gradually, you'll find yourself when you're in Christ coming out of wrong. Oh, yeah. You have a different perspective of things. That's right. Places you used to go. Mm -hmm. Now, you ain't gone no more. Yeah. Because not only did God change your mind, he changed your heart. That's it. Now, you no longer love the club. You don't even love the club music no more. Yeah, yeah. And you're not hanging with that group of cigarette sucking and beer guzzling friends. That's right. Not doing that no more. No more cussing MF and SOB and all that. No, no more of that now. Therefore, if any man. I, I, I'm in Christ. That's it. Glory to God. No more carrying guns and switchblades and razors. That's right. No more out there carjacking. That's right. No more out there raping. Amen. Uh -huh. Not doing that no more. In our Christ. holy women don't look like prostitutes and our holy men don't look like pimps. That's right. Why? Therefore, if any man be in Christ. If any man. If any man be in Christ. My, my, hallelujah. My, hallelujah. Glory hallelujah. to God. If any man. If any man be in Christ. God be in Christ. He is a new creature. He's new. New creature. What's the result? Old things are passed away. Old. Old things. Old things. Passed away. You will take that picture of that lie in your house that you think is Jesus. That's right. You will take it out your house. That little picture that you look at every morning and you kiss it with your hand. That ain't Jesus. <laughs> That's right. That's some old guitar player. That ain't Jesus. Amen. Huh? Amen. Yeah, that may be Cesar Romero. That ain't Jesus. <laughs> Amen. Huh? Amen. I don't care what color that fraud is on your wall. That's that ain't it. Jesus. When you go back home, get that liar off your wall you think is Jesus. Amen. When did Jesus pose for that picture? Mm -hmm. When did he pose for that picture? That's right. When did Jesus tell you his skin was white and his head was blind and his eyes was blue? Yeah. Get that liar yeah. off your wall. That's right. And when did Jesus tell you he was a Rastafarian with dreadlocks? Yeah. Get that black that. liar off your wall. Amen. Am I right, I said? Therefore. Go ahead. Glory to God, glory to God. Therefore, if any man, if any man be in Christ, I want you churches to get this, to pay all that money for stained glass to get a bunch of cartoons on your wall. That's right. Get them cartoons off your wall. That's right. None of it is Jesus, none of it is Mary, mm -hmm. and it ain't Martha. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> glory Amen. to God. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, glory to God, I want to work Hallelujah. on you while I have you here. You that are here in the Bahamas, are you in Christ tonight? In Christ. Are you in Christ? Mm -hmm. Or do you think you in Christ? Yeah. Because when you in Christ, it ain't a soul on the planet Earth in Christ unless you're in Christ's word. That's it. I cannot be in Christ's word unless I got a preacher. That's right. The Bible says, how can you hear without a preacher? Mm -hmm. How can he preach except he be sent? That's and right. if you got a preacher that's called and sent and made and 
taught by God Almighty Go that made the heavens and yeah. the earth. He gonna bring you God's law. That's he gonna real. bring you God's commandments. Right. He gonna bring you God's order. That's He's right. not worrying about your feelings. No, He's no. not worrying about if you offended. Yeah. If it break up your home, your home might as well prepare to fall apart. Amen. Thank God because God come along to break up our folly ground. That's right. Eh? That's Hallelujah. right. Oh, hallelujah. Therefore, Hooray. hallelujah. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, any man, any man, you that got your second husband, hallelujah. the word gonna break up your bed, yeah. break it up. Oh yeah. You ain't not only are you gonna sleep in two separate rooms, hmm. you are gonna move out all together. That's right. It just gonna keep breaking you up. That's right. Amen. Every time you lay, thank God with that woman, and you know that your first wife is living, the word gonna come to your mind. Yeah. Sally is alive. That's right. You're still bound. That's Right. You're going to try to shake it off. Yeah. And God, gonna he's going to interrupt your bad performance. Yes, he will. She's going to say, what? what's the matter, Peter? There ain't nothing wrong. Amen. And Peter's going to be sitting on the side of the bed. Yeah. God talking to him. Oh, yeah. You're bound by the law. That's right. She's going to say, take something. After he takes something, God's going to slap it back down. Yeah. Hey! Oh, yeah. Why? Amen. Glory to God. Therefore. Your medication can't make you perform over that Bible. That's right. If any man be in Christ, any man. Hallelujah to God. Any man. If any man be in Christ, you say you're a Christian? Mm. You in Christ? In Christ. And you still living that old adulterous life? Yeah. You ain't in Christ. That's right. You still in sin. That's right. And you got comfortable in your sin. Mm -hmm. That's why you go to these churches like United Pentecostal and PAW and Church of God in Christ and so many apostolic organizations in the world that tell you you can divorce and remarry mm -hmm. and God say, I hate divorce. hate divorce. Even God got one wife That's and right. God's wife is the church. That's right. He only got one church. That's right. How in the world are these preachers going to tell you to death do you part? Mm. And the moment you argue, the preacher tell you, trade her in. Trade her in. She ain't die. Trade her in. That's right. These preachers trade wives in like you trade cars in. Amen. And you church women trade men in like you buy new hats. My Lord. And the preacher don't say nothing. The reason why the preacher don't say nothing, as long as you, I never saw a dog complain about a pan full of food. No. Huh? Oh, no. You don't find no dog. You don't get no trouble out of a dog <laughs> when his pan is full of food. That's right. You don't get no trouble out of a preacher when that offering plate is full of money. Therefore. I wouldn't care if you made $25 million a day Hallelujah. and you gave $10 million tithe and a $5 million offering. Right. I preach the word preach of the God word. while you're writing your check. That's I right. preach the word of God if you take the check back. I preach the, preach word, the word of God while you're on the rest. I preach the word of God when you die, and I preach Hallelujah. the word of God while they lower you to the ground. That's right. I don't give two cents about your money. That's right. The thing I'm after is the soul of men and women that's going to hell Go and encouraging you to come out of sin. Go ahead. Come out of fornication. Amen. Come out come of out. adultery. Amen. Stop living together, not married. That's it. Get rid of your disobedience that you have towards God. That's Stop it. going to church. Playing around with your soul and let's do this the right way. That's it. What is that? Therefore, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, well, take off. Therefore, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. God, Hallelujah. if any man be in Christ, be in Christ, he is a new creature. Are you new tonight? New. Are you new? Mm. You still got your cigarettes at home? Amen. You ain't new. No. Uh huh. No, no, no. You still shooting up mm. with your crack? You ain't new. That's right. Smoking your reefer? For municipal purposes? That's right. <laughs> new preacher. You ain't new. No. You're just as high as an old kite. That's right. Huh? That's right. Hey, man, you, you putting on somebody else's hair because you don't like the hair God made you? Mm. You ain't new. Amen. Take that wig off and throw it in the trash and love the way God made you. That's right. What is that? Therefore, if any man be in Christ. Our men and women getting tattooed all over you. Give me the book of Leviticus. In Leviticus. Because folks don't know this is in the Bible. That's right. Why in the world? Listen, why you want to put tattoos all over you? Mm -hmm. Our women putting tattoos all on your breast yeah. and then you put on a blouse cut low as my jacket. Right. And then when the fellas try to look down there, you pretend like you offended. You ain't offended. That's right. You got the tattoo on your breast. You wore a blouse cut deep. 
and you're walking around knowing that it's all just jumping. Amen. And he's looking. Amen. God didn't make your body to write on it. No. God make your body to be saved. That's right. Let me show you. When you didn't know no better, yeah, I can't blame you. But mm. my God, you're going to get a belly full tonight. Tonight. So you don't go get your ink no more. That's right. What did it say? In Leviticus chapter 19 and at verse 28. I want to say, well, it look cute. No, it doesn't. You're not a billboard. No. He done got your old boyfriend name on there. You ain't even with him no more. <laughs> yeah. That's right. And man, he done left you. He done got John name on you. John done left you. You got Paul name on you. Paul done left you. You got Billy name on you. Billy done left you. You got all them names on all you names. like an obituary column. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> yeah. Amen. Glory to God. So I said, you read your obituary column? Turn around. <laughs> Glory to God. Do you get what I'm telling you? Amen. My God, I want to give you a belly full of Bible tonight. Oh, yeah. What did he say, son? In Leviticus chapter 19 and at verse 28. Leviticus 19, 28. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for God the talking. day. God talking. Amen. The Holy Ghost is talking. Ye shall not. In chapter and verse again. Leviticus chapter 19 and at verse 28. Ye shall not. Make any cuttings. Any cuttings. In your flesh. In your flesh. For the day. For the day it no. for sin. The Bible said the sting of death is sin, and the wages of sin is death. Yes. What else? Nor print. Nor what? Nor print. Nor what? Nor print. Nor what? Nor print. Nor print what? Any marks upon you. Who said it? I am the Lord. No, I'm Pastor Jennings. I am the Lord. I'm Geno Jennings. I am the Lord. You think your ink is cute? You transgress God. That's right. God didn't make your... Someone said, well, Pastor Jennings, what about if I write the name of Jesus on there? Who cares? Nor print any marks he upon said, you. He said print anything. Any marks. You got the name. Listen, I don't care if you got the name Jesus written on each eyebrow That's and right. got Christ engraved in your earlobe. Mm. That don't mean nothing. No. Are you obeying him? That's it. Hmm? That's it. I see people got crosses, tattoos all over their body. Yeah. And ain't no more repenting for their sins at all. That's it. Do you hear God talking? You shall not make any cunnings in your flesh for the dead. Nor print, nor any, print marks any marks upon you. I am the Lord. When you didn't know no better, you got yourself all inked up. Yeah. Now when you know better, you become ashamed of it. That's right. You be, I, has, I got thousands of letters, people telling me, my God, Pastor Jennings, I, where were you when I was a child? <laughs> if I heard you years ago, I would not have done this. And I would be better judgment. And Well, I, I, I can't be when everybody exists. But one thing, you can correct what you have done. That's true. And you can get on the right track now. That's right. Huh? That's right. Bible said where there's life, there's hope. You can't go in the past and correct nothing. Yeah. But you certainly can do better now, now. obey God now, now so you can be right in the future. That's right. All right, let's go back to where you are, son. Back in 2 Corinthians 5 and that verse 17. All right. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. He's a new creature. All things are passed away. All things are passed away. Behold, all things, all things are become new. This is new. New. What do you mean? When you walk with God, it's a new life now. That's right. When you got to repent of your sins, you must repent. What you mean repent? You got to be sorry about your sins. Yeah. I know a lot of you think you're a Christian. You went to some church and said you got saved today. Hmm. How did you get saved? Yeah. Well, Pastor Jennings, I prayed a sinner's prayer. Who told you to do that? Who told you to do that? Well, my pastor. That's your problem. That's it. He lied to you. That's right. The Bible ain't never told you to hold some preacher's hand and pray a sinner's prayer. No. It ain't no such prayer in the Bible. No. Let that devil hand alone mm -hmm. and do what the Bible said do. That's Repent. Right. Repent. Repent. The Bible ain't tell you join the church. Bible didn't tell you go to a Catholic church and let a priest throw water on your head. That's when the right. preacher throw water on you, throw it back on him. Amen. <laughs> huh? And the Bible, you throw, preach, throw it back on him. That's right. Tell him you take it. <laughs> or that God, you take it. Then hope maybe to do something for you to keep your clothes on. That's right. Huh? That's right. What is he Then Peter said unto them, repent. All right, Bahamas, 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 that go for every island out there. You that is out on St. Lucia in Jamaica, you that is in Europe, you that is in America, you that is in Belgium, Germany, Sweden, Ireland, Japan, mm. China, Cuba, Puerto Rico, yeah. Australia, New Zealand, I don't care where you are. Right. It's one message. Mm -hmm. One message. That's right. For every nationality on the planet. Mm -hmm. It ain't one message for white folk, another message for black folk, no. another message for Mexican brothers, another message for Asian. One message for everybody in the world. Then Peter. Everybody in the world. That's right. Glory to God. One message. Mm -hmm. 
One message here. Then Peter said unto them, repent. No, Peter said, join the church. Peter said unto them, repent. No, Peter said, bow your head and raise your dirty hands and accept Christ where you are. Peter said unto them, repent. No, Peter said, get on a mourner's bench and get several different works of grace. Peter said unto them, repent. No, Peter said, I open the church doors and give you a home. Peter said unto them, repent. No, Peter said, come on up and hold my hand and say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. I'm a sinner. Wash me, cleanse me white as snow, and I'm saved. Peter said unto them, repent. You bunch of liars. You see how the preachers conned you? That's right. You thought you was doing something, didn't you? <laughs> and some of you were sincere, crying in your fake eyelashes, hanging off your real <laughs> eyelashes. <laughs> hey! Repent. You was up there, thought you was doing something. Hey, man, you have to go back to that church and shake that preacher so much until his keys fall off. That's right. He lied to you. Amen. Don't you hear what the word of God tell you to then do? Then Peter said unto them, repent. 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 And what, be here, here. Mm -hmm. Why do God want you to repent? Go ahead. When you repent, you're sorry about your wrong. That's right. In order to get that man and woman to change, you got to be sorry, sorry. about your wrong. That's right. Listen, if any of us had disciplined parents, when we done wrong and that parent got that belt, you repented, didn't you? Oh, yeah. Weren't you sorry? Mm -hmm. You were sorry when you just saw the belt. That's right. The belt didn't even hit you yet. That's right. Mom, you saw the belt. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> now, listen, I'd rather have my father beat me all day. Yeah. That, that hurt eventually will go away. Oh, yeah. But to get beat by the flames of hell. My Lord, my Lord. Listen up. I don't, listen, God don't care how cute you are. Yeah. Listen, you, you that are watching, sisters, I don't care if you got more curves than all the islands of Bahamas. Mm -hmm. huh? Amen. Until you got so many curves, a man don't even know what direction his eyes go. One, <laughs> one eye just go on his own that way. And it, huh? it doesn't matter. That's right. Glory to God, when you're done, think of it. One thing I'm so glad about God, that a rich man, and the poor man got in common, death. Yes. Amen. Isn't that wonderful? Amen. A strong man and a weak man, what you got in common, yes. death. Yes. <laughs> a man that live on the street yes. and a man that live in a castle. Mm -hmm. One thing y'all got in common, yes. death. Yes. When you die, yes. an ugly person, who they call ugly and who they call beautiful, when you die, Y'all got that in common. That's right. You don't find the worms down there arguing over who's beautiful, who's not. No. Huh? No, no. Hey Amen. That worm don't go and see that corpse dead and say, Ew. <laughs> oh, man, we can't consume her. Bang, man, she tore up from the floor up. That's right. We we can't consume her. That's hey, right. come on over here. There's a fine babe right below her. Mm. Let's go to. No, uh-uh, uh-uh. No, oh, no, no, no. I don't care. If they put you in a steel casket and then put the steel casket in a solid bronze vault, mm -hmm. then put the solid bronze vault in a cement container, mm -hmm. it don't keep worms out. The worms shall feed sweetly on him. I want you to get this beautiful woman that's switching down there, making men have accidents. That's right. I want you to get this Mr. Man who will thank you God's gift to the women. That's right. This is for you. In the book of Job, chapter 24 and at verse 20. I want you to get this Mr. Preacher mm -hmm. that got your $5,000 prayer line, $50,000 prayer line, $100,000 prayer line who don't have no fear and stand before your people and just blatantly lie and say the Lord said this and the Lord said that when you never heard the voice of God since you've been born. That's right. I want you to get this. Job chapter you, 24. You organizations that lie and said God called women to preach the gospel when the Bible speak plain and says I suffer not a woman to teach nor to use of authority over the man but to be in silence with all subjection. Yeah. I want you to get this. Job chapter 24 and at verse 20. The Bible says. The womb shall forget him. Wait a minute. The womb shall forget him. The very womb you came out of. Mm -hmm. God says it's going to forget you. The worm shall feed sweetly the, on him. The worm. Hallelujah. You corpse, you make the worms happy. That's right. Huh? That's right. Hey Amen. There's some happy worms waiting for us now. <laughs> Amen. Waiting for us now. Mm -hmm. The Bible says. The, 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 the worm, worm shall feed sweetly shall on him. Shall feed sweetly on him. He shall no more be remembered. You know what? Listen, there's a scripture where it is written, get your house in order. Yeah. Bahamas, and you that are watching and listening, preachers, deacons, trustees, so-called apostles, first ladies, mm -hmm. 
whatever you title you want to give yourself. When in the 1970s, they had a song in America, uh, Mr. Big Stuff. Yeah. Who do you think you are? I want to say to you, Mr. and Mrs. Big Stuff, hmm. who do you think you are? That's right. I don't care if you got so much money, your pants bulge until they hang like bricks is in them. <laughs> <laughs> when you die, yeah. you know when a sinner die, the family want to give him what they call a Christian funeral. And he, he done drank and smoked and chased every woman that had legs. That's right. Even when after women that didn't have none, if they in the wheelchair, he, he went after them. That's right. And, That's right. And the moment that crooked sinner died, old reverend filled me all over getting the pulpit and get up with a message and say, well, I see uh, Brother Timothy. Yeah. He may not been the best Christian. Ha. But Timothy, yeah, he done the best he can. Ha. Timothy, I see Timothy up there right now with his mama. Liar. That's a lie. <laughs> Liar. Amen. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? Set thine house in order. You see, some of you not used to having someone tell you to your face what is right. That's right. Because you're spoiled. That's right. I fear God. I don't fear people. Amen. I got a God to answer to. That's it. When God come, I don't want to hear him say, depart from me. I don't want to hear that. Yeah. All I want to hear and all I need to hear. Come ye blessed. That's right. Come ye blessed. That's right. C c come ye blessed. And here I go. Yes, sir. <laughs> huh? Here I go. Oh, yeah. My God, I, I, that, I, I, I got so many death threats upon my head all around the world. Folks don't put death contracts out on me. I tell them, you know where I live. Mm -hmm. If you want to kill me, just come to the church. Listen, 5105 North 5th Street, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, right on the corner of Lindley Avenue. <laughs> it's advertised where we are everywhere. Everywhere. There's only one gospel, and I'm willing to die for it and oh, fight yeah. creation with it. That's right. Huh? Isaiah. Either you're for God or you're against him. I want everybody to understand what they call straddling the fence don't work. No. You got to be on God's side all the way. All the way. Or the devil's side. That's right. You choose. That's right. If God is your God, serve him. Serve him. Serve him. If the devil is your God, then you're going to serve him. That's right. You out there living like the devil, you already made your choice. Mm -hmm. Listen at the Bible. Isaiah chapter 38, and we'll start at verse 1. Follow me. In those days was Hezekiah sick unto death. Hezekiah the king, a righteous king, was sick unto death. And Isaiah the prophet, the son of Amos, came unto him. And said what? And said unto him, thus saith the Lord. All right, I want everybody. Everybody in the Bahamas, everybody in the world, mm -hmm. God is talking to you this morning, this afternoon, mm -hmm. and tonight. Thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord. Set thine house in order, for thou shalt die and not live. Mm. This is a warning. Amen. Preachers, deacons, mm -hmm. bishops, elders, Amen. evangelists, mm -hmm. so-called apostles. Pastors, thus saith the Lord, God talking, set thine house in order, for thou shalt die and not live. Now, mm. let me explain what that means. When it says set your house in order, Amen. it's not just talking about the physical house where you live. That's right. The first house that must be put in order is you. That's it. Your body, your body. is the temple of the living God. That's right. And the Bible call your body a earthly house earthly that house. shall dissolve. That's right. Huh? That's right. And God Almighty is one in everybody. Thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord. Set thine house in order. Get all them men out your house and they're not your husband. That's right. Get all them wives, all them women out your house. That's right. Stop turning your house to a sex club. Mm. Go ahead. Get all them drugs, <clears throat> beer, liquor. Whiskey, cocaine, mm -hmm. ice, reefer. Yeah. Get it out your house. Get all them half-naked prostituting clothes out your house. That's right. Stop letting your daughter boyfriend spend the night mm -hmm. in your house. Yeah. Get your house in order. In order. And you fathers, 
Stop looking at your daughter. That's right. Your daughter can't even walk around the house in her underclothes. That's true. Without you looking at your own little daughter backside. That's right. This is a warning to you. Set thine house in order. This is a warning to you. Thus saith the Lord. This is a warning to you. Mm -hmm. You preachers, stop flirting with the women in your church. That's right. Stop paying them to keep quiet. That's right. Am I right? Thus saith the Lord. The Holy Ghost said. Thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord. Set thine house in order, for thou shalt die and not live. You preachers, Hallelujah. set your church right. That's right. I don't care if your church is so small, only an ant colony can fit there. That's right. Set your church right. That's right. If you're preaching anything that's wrong, go back. Amen. And correct it. Hallelujah. And tell the folks I was wrong. That's right. This is what the Bible really said. That's right. What the Holy Ghost said. Thus saith Hallelujah. the Lord. Laura. Thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord. Set thine house in order. Why? For thou shalt die and not live. That's what the Holy Ghost brought here. Thus saith the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want all you apostolics to get this. Yeah. I don't care what kind of titles you got. Right. UPC, FX, FAM, GTR, mm -hmm. UPX. I don't care what you call yourself. Amen. Apostolic, Pentecostal, non-denominational, Christian science, non-denominational. It doesn't matter. Don't matter. The Lord our God says. Thus saith the Lord. You, you, you United Pentecostal bigots in America. That's right. Who always brag that the UPC is the largest white Pentecostal organization in the world. Amen. When you got the right spirit, you don't associate God with your color. No. You just serve God. Who care how white you are? That's I right. don't care if you're so white, you like a blank piece of paper. That's right. I'm going to write some scripture on you. Amen. What is that? Thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord. Set thine house in order, but thou shalt die and not live. Only God can make a man preach like this. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I'm, hallelujah. hallelujah. I'm so glad God made me a preacher. Oh, yeah. I don't worry about what the church members say. Well, Pastor Jennings, you know, I don't think you should say that because now we write your checks and if you don't calm down, you, you're not going to get that much that you got last week. I, <laughs> I don't have that problem. No. Oh, no. No, no. Thank God I go out there and roll my sleeves up and work. That's right. So I could bring bread to my wife and my seven greedy youngins. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Hallelujah. Thank God I want to encourage everybody under the sun. Yeah. It's time to mean business and stand up for God. That's it. You young men that's out here running the preach, streets, preach. you only got the breath in your nostrils. Yeah. You can't keep knocking up every woman you see like an untamed dog. That's right. You got to have some self-respect. Remember, right. brother, you're going to reap what you sow. Oh, yeah. That girl that you approach, suppose you get a daughter and somebody approach your daughter. Mm. That girl who backside you pat, suppose you get a daughter, yeah. and now someone pat her backside. Right. You wanna go out there and fight her, but you're only reaping what you're sowing. What you're that girl you try to lower into your house, now you get a daughter. Someone gonna try to lower her into their house. That's right. You all reap what you sow. What you sow. That's right. That's this is a Holy Ghost message tonight. Thus saith the Lord. Thus hallelujah. Glory to God. Thus saith the Lord. Set thine house in order. Get right. Get, that's it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You choirs that's in your church singing and didn't want to do all this worldly stuff. Mm. Don't you see them in all on TV? That's right. Mm. 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 What, what is that? That's right. You're supposed to be in Christ a new creature. A new creature. Huh? Amen. If I'm going to do all that movement, I want to make sure I'm in the spirit. Oh, yeah. Eh? Oh, yeah. If any man. It, therefore, if any man be in Christ. You better get your house in order. Mm -hmm. You better get your body in order. Your Set body the, the temple of the living God. That's right. God didn't make your mouth to suck cigarettes. God didn't make your eyes to watch porn. Mm. God didn't make your ears to listen to that rap. That's God right. didn't make your anatomy brother to Go. make a bunch of babies and right. you can't take care of none of them. God didn't make you Go. woman to head lay around with every man in your neighborhood. Right. You lay with the bishop. You lay with the pastor. You lay with the reverend. You lay with the politician. You lay mm. with the congressman. You lay with the deacon. You lay with the lay member. That's right. That's right. Where you going to get up? Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Where you going to get up? 
Amen. The Holy Ghost said, get what? Thus saith the Lord, set thine house in order, for thou shalt die and not live. You bear in mind, one day you're going to be on top of that woman that's not your wife. God is going to snatch the breath out of her. Yes, he will. She's going to fall dead right on your chest, brother. That's right. Huh? That's right. That's a scary way to die. Oh, yes. God is going to snatch the breath out of you while you got that bottle of liquor right up to your mouth. Amen. And your last drop of liquor is going to put you in hell. Thus saith the Lord. Mm -hmm. God is going to make you drop dead while you're right in that tattoo shop getting your last ink. That's right. And he's going to wonder why your arm going cold. Yeah. Your creator visit you. Oh, yeah. He gave you time mm -hmm. to obey him. Yeah. But you was more focused on partying, chasing women, yeah. having what you call a good time. Mm -hmm. The Bible says she that live in pleasure is yeah. dead while she lives. While she lives. God did not make you to live like an animal. That's right. Men and women. That's right. God didn't make you for that. Amen. You ain't getting no younger. Look at you, some of you old women. You got children. And here you mothers out here want to wear your dresses and skirt as short as your daughter. My Lord, my Lord. And you men let your wives walk the street yeah, half naked. And you want to fight every man that whistle at her. Yeah. You want to fight somebody? Go home, brother, and slap yourself. <laughs> Amen. From letting your wife come out advertising her trick and treats. That's right. Huh? That's right. <laughs> you go home and slap yourself. For letting your wife come out to advertise a trick or treat. Trick or treat. It is the nature of a man to look at a woman. Yeah. That's his nature. Mm -hmm. eh? And mm -hmm. here these men want to fight men. Tell your woman put some clothes on. That's right. When she repent of her sins and go down in water in the name of Jesus Christ and receive the Holy Ghost, the Bible will teach her how to dress right. That's right. It's not like what these preachers saying. Well, it don't matter how you look on the outside. That's, and who eyes? <laughs> it does matter to God. Oh, yeah. The Bible teaches us men in the 11th chapter, 1 Corinthians, the Apostle Paul said it's a shame for a man to have long hair. Yeah. That's on the outside. That's right. That ain't on the inside. Our heart don't grow hair. No. Amen. Why would a man wear bangs? <laughs> a, man. a man. Why would a man have ponytails? Yeah. A man. Do it not even nature itself teach Give chapter and verse. Here, yeah. here, here now. In 1 Corinthians 11 and verse 14. Follow me. Do it not even nature itself teach you? Nature. Common sense teach mm -hmm. you. That if a man have long hair. When I look at a man, I should know it's a man. Yeah. Huh? Oh, yeah. If I'm talking to a brother, I should not be talking to a brother, sister. That's right. That's right. Greetings, brother, sister. <laughs> Give chapter and verse again. First Corinthians chapter 11 and at verse 14. Some men, their hair, they wear it longer than their wife. Yeah. That's true. She's walking down the street. And he's walking down the street. That's right. He's using his wife bobby pins. Mm. They got in America what is called a man bun. Amen. You know, sometimes a woman tie her hair in a bun on the top of her head. Mm -hmm. Well, they got in America. Men wear them. Yeah. Call it a man bun. Yeah. Have you noticed men are becoming more and more feminine? Yeah. And women are becoming more and more masculine? That's what right. What in the world is wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? Amen. How in the world we have gotten so pitiful and delusional we don't see nothing wrong with it? Yeah. The attitude of society, what have happened? You haven't let television influence your children. That's right. You have let movies influence your children. That's right. You have let Hollywood influence your children. Amen. So if your children want to look like some celebrity, you say, fine. fine. Here's your daughter, five years old, and here you got her with fishnet stockings on, lipstick on, ears pierced, makeup all on, and she's five years old, looking like she's 18. Do not prostitute thy daughter. In Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 29. You know, because some folk criticize me over the air and say, that man got a foul mouth. <laughs> no, not, ain't nothing wrong with my mouth. No. Let's see what the Bible say. I want you to follow me now. Follow me in your Bible. In Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 29. Call chapter and verse again. Leviticus chapter 19 and we're at verse 29. Say it slow so they can get it. In Leviticus. Leviticus. Chapter 19. 19. Verse 29. Ver listen, 1929, that's when the stock market crashed. That's right. Huh? 
I want your sins to crash. So Amen. That, God, Amen. I want to help you. But some folks say, when I preach against all this stuff, right away, that man must hate women. No, I don't hate women. No. I know our women can do better. These yeah. preachers won't tell you this. They'll come to you, flirt with you, want to sleep with you, slide their number under the door, and want to jump down in your clothes. That's right. That's right. Glory to God. Are you listening? Amen. What is it? Do not prostitute thy daughter. Uh oh. Do not prostitute thy daughter. Listen, if you're not a prostitute, you don't walk around looking like one. No. Why would a holy woman need ankle chains? Amen. Why would an old mother need ankle chains? Come on, Grandma. <laughs> Come on. Grandma. Grandma. That's right. Why you need an ankle chain? Cut, it's cutting your circulation off. <laughs> Amen. Only, you didn't wear an ankle chain when you was 25. Here you wait till you got 70. 75 years old and you got an ankle chain on. It's true. And you're supposed to be a Christian. Mm. The Bible speaks plain. Do not prostitute thy daughter. For what reason God advised us not to do this? To cause her to be a whore. Amen. Is that the word? That's the word. Like the old preacher said, let the church say amen. That's right. Say amen again. That's right. Say amen again. Amen. Give chapter and verse. Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 29. This is plain in the Bible. You mothers, look at how you got your daughters. That's right. A halter on, hot pants. Yeah. Her little backside hanging out. Boys want to grind on her in school. Amen. Old preachers looking at her. That's right. Thank you. That's right. Say what you want about Muslim women. Mm -hmm. They're respected. Amen. Say whatever you want. Mm -hmm. But church folk, let it all hang out. <laughs> That's right. And That's look right. at me like I'm crazy because I preach not to be naked in the world. Amen. The Bible speaks plain. Do not prostitute thy daughter. Do not prostitute thine daughter. To Do not to prostitute thine daughter. To cause this is the her. language of God. Yeah. The language of God. Do not prostitute thy daughter. Bible says. Do not prostitute thy daughter. And what? To cause her to be a whore. Cause her to be a whore. There's a certain way God women are supposed to look. That's right. And when you don't know that way, our job is to teach you. That's right. Well, Pastor Jennings, I've been looking like this all my life. It's time to change. Amen. Hmm? Amen. Time to change. Oh, yeah. Our women not out there with pants on, showing every groove that God put on them. That's right. These men have bumped their horn and almost crashed into another car. That's true. Huh? I see men try to drive this way. <laughs> they rode by a woman, and they didn't get a good view. They didn't have sense enough to take their foot off the gas. The, <laughs> the car's still going, and they just still looking. Still looking. Look back. Car's still going. That's right. That's right. The Bible speaks plain. Do here. not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. Go back to the warning and finish that up. Cause mm -hmm. her to be a whore and what else? Lest the land fall to whoredom. Is that, listen, have the world fell into whoredom? Mm. Look at the amount of single women now raising children. Four and five and six children not married. Got to take all these men to court and these men will make all the babies as long as you let them. That's right. I'm encouraging our young girls that it's not a sin to be a virgin. That's right. That's right. I had a woman wrote me, I believe from Australia. She said, when I heard you preach, it's not a sin to be a virgin. She said, do you know out of all my years of watching religious programs, you are the first preacher I ever heard in the world that encouraged women not to give it up. Mm. You misunderstood. You think having sex make you a woman? Roaches no have sex. That's right. That's why it's so hard to get rid of them. Amen. You kill one, you come back the next day, he's about 10 more looking at you. Amen. Huh? That's Glory right. God. You ain't got no monopoly on it. That's right. That's why I teach our old women, teach your daughters. Teach them. Put them young girls back in check. Amen. And you fathers, teach your sons. Yeah. Don't just let them sit around on cell phones all day, play games, talk all day. Go ahead. Lay some law in your house. And the greatest law you can put in your house is God's law. That's right. 
Am I right, I said? That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. What did he tell Hezekiah? Back in Isaiah chapter 38 and at verse 1. This is a warning. Thus saith the Lord. I want to warn the world. Thus saith the Lord. I want you to remember this. Mm -hmm. Thus saith the Lord. Set thine house in order. Everybody in the Bahamas. Amen. Everybody that are here tonight. tonight. Glory to God in the world. Amen. God Almighty has given everybody a chance to get in order. It's a beautiful opportunity, isn't it? Yes, it is. You ain't a Christian because you went to church. No. Nah, oh, you no. ain't a Christian because you went to church. Mm -mm. No, the word Christian means act like Christ. That's you ain't right. acting like Christ because you went to church. No, <laughs> plumbers go to church when they're called. Amen. He ain't acting like Christ. No. 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 When you talk about living like Christ, you got to have a doctrine taught to you. Taught. It's called the doctrine of the apostle. That's right. And Paul even called it the doctrine of godliness. That's Solomon right. says, I give you a good doctrine. Mm -hmm. The doctrine of God is the rules and regulations to govern the body of Christ, which are the people of God. That's right. And that comes from God everlasting word. Mm -hmm. Now, I have a doctrine to give you, which is the doctrine of Jesus Christ yeah. to govern creation. Mm -hmm. God wants the world to know that he's warning you yeah. and he's going to cut me. He's, listen, God is killing people every day. Amen. He keep proving to the human race you don't own nothing. That's right. You ever had a big storm or typhoon come through the Bahamas mm. and tear up and wash houses away? Yeah. What can you do when it happens? What can you do? You can stand and cry and moan, yeah. but God keep proving to you, you don't own nothing. That's right. He put it in his word, naked you came in the world. Yeah. Naked you shall return. Yeah. Here you work hard and build a house and buy a car, and have a bank account and save up $3. <laughs> Amen. Buy a bunch of clothing and shoes. Yeah. All right. All right. And then God come. Oh, Wash God. your bank account away, your bank away, your house, and all your cars is floating down the street. That's right. That's right. Nothing you can do about it. Nothing you can do. God rules. Mm -hmm. God wants all the world to know there is no boss That's right. but God. That's right. Stubborn man, mm -hmm. high minded, arrogant man. Yeah. Hard haired, rebellious woman. Oh, yeah. God rule. Mm -hmm. You're no boss. No. You're not your own. Oh, no. Someone say, I'm my own man. You ain't your own nothing. That's right. God made you. Yeah. When God say die, you die. Yeah. Hey, man, I don't care how much of a man you think you are. God come along in the midst of your health and slow down the rhythm of your heart mm -hmm. until you got to grab your chest and nothing you can do about it. That's right. Slow down your breath, make you fall to the floor. Yeah. And then you find that arrogant, hard head dope dealer. Jesus! <laughs> That's right. And Jesus said, why call ye me Lord? Mm -hmm. And do not the things I say. That's right. Thus, I'm warning you. Thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord. Set thine house in order. If you want to get your house in order tonight, this is your opportunity. Amen. This is how you get your house in order. Give me Acts 2.38. Acts chapter 2 and at verse 38. The Holy Ghost said. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Oh, glory. I wasn't feeling that good when I first came here, but my God, when the Holy Ghost get a hold of you, you feel pretty good now. Amen. Then Peter said unto them. Repent. He said unto them, do what? Repent. This is how you get your house in order. This is the blueprints. Yeah. How to get your house in order. Get your house correct. That's it. Get your house Built on a solid foundation. Mm -hmm. In other words, get yourself the way the Lord wants you to be. Not the way some preacher wants you to be. That's the right. way the Lord wants you to be. That's right. Repent. Then Peter said unto them, repent and be baptized. My God, I got requests coming in from all around the world. Wonderful. I done heard from every continent on the earth. Wonderful. Every continent on the earth I done heard from. Hallelujah. Crying out for baptism. Hallelujah. All so many parts of Africa. We send four ministers to Africa uh, about two, two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. They went to uh, Mozambique and they went to Malawi. And they were, I believe it was in Mozambique, they baptized 44. In Malawi, they baptized 49. 93 total went down mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Men and women, there are a lot of sincere people yeah. who don't want to go to hell. That's right. Listen, Bahamas, isn't it hot enough for you on this island? Mm -hmm. Is it hot enough? Amen. I don't want to go to hell. No. For you that don't know what hell is, mm -hmm. hell is a bottomless 
everlasting, eternal pit, pit. loaded with flame. That's right. And the fire is the anger of God yeah. designed to burn men and women oh, yeah. that reject his counsel mm. throughout all eternity. That's right. Well, Pastor Jennings, it can't be that bad because fire burn you up. This fire on earth is not like the fire of hell. No. The fire of earth, man can control man. and man can put it out. Yeah. The fire of hell is the anger of God. Anger of God, God Almighty said in the book of Deuteronomy. In chapter 32 and chapter verse 21. Chapter 32 and verse 21. They have moved me to jealousy with that which is not to God. They have moved me to jealousy to that which is not God. They have provoked me to anger with their vanity. All right, human family. Amen. You made God angry. That's right. And God is not going to allow you, thank God, to continue in your sins. Right. And he's angry at you. That's right. I'd rather deal with the angry.